Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Canton for the 2015 USCAA Women's Volleyball National Championships. How great is that? We consider it a great honor to be hosting this prestigious tournament, and this is for the fourth time. And we hope all of you are going to enjoy a spectacular weekend. We've been ordered the weather up special. Even though this is November in the North Country, it's going to be 70 tomorrow. And with 10 great teams vying to be the national champions, the competition is guaranteed to be exciting. And I can't wait to see all of you compete over the next few days. And I assure you, I'm going to be there, and my wife's going to be there, and my son and my folks, we all love this. Okay, we hope this weekend is one you're going to remember for the rest of your lives. It's sure to include incredible action, great games, and exciting victories. And I hope you'll take a moment to enjoy the wonderful village of Canton, our SUNY Canton campus, and the beautiful North Country. It's spectacular up here, beautiful river towns. Uh, take the time to see it. I'd like to first thank the coaches, officials, administrators, and colleges for making the tournament a success. I'd like to thank all of our SUNY Canton athletic staff members and the USCAA for the terrific honor of hosting this event. We hope we can live up to your expectations and the history of the crowning of a brand new champion on Saturday. And so, uh, congratulations to everybody. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Amazingly, there are four teams here that have made this trip to Canton in each of the past four years. One of which is SUNY Canton, they have the shortest commute. The teams that have been here for four years are the national defending champions from Florida College are back again. The Falcons have won the USCAA title four of the past six years. Rochester College is the other team here that has won the USCAA national title in volleyball before. This is truly a national tournament. There are ten teams from eight different states. Among the thank yous uh, this evening, I want to thank Andy Devins and his officiating crews. Andy is here. He'll meet with the coaches later on, but they do a, a terrific job each year. Thank you, Andy. Uh, I especially want to thank, as Dr. Zafran did, the tournament staff, the committee, tournament director Carol LaMarche for uh, all of their hard work. The uh, SUNY Canton Sports Information Director, Nate Hart. Nate, thank you for all your hard work uh, getting ready for this and throughout throughout the weekend. Athletic training staff at SUNY Canton as well, many of us here. Also facilities director John Vanderveer and here's his staff. A lot of hard work to get, uh, get ready for this weekend. We also want to thank everyone with the USCAA, especially Kevin Wakeman, Will Sparrow, and Tyrone Smith who are here. Every well rested coach. That's good. Now we want to get, uh, get to know our teams a little bit more. I don't know if we want to get to know them any more than that. Seed in the tournament from Concord, New Hampshire, the NHTI Lynx, coached by Melanie Margison. The Lynx had a record of 16 and 8 last year. They're undefeated in the Yankee Conference with a 10 and 0 record. The 9 seed uh, is from the land of moose and maple syrup. They're the Bengals from the University of Maine, Fort Kent. How many moose did you pass on your bus trip here? Three. Uh, the Bengals are coached by Tom Bird. They have a record of 21 and 7. The number 8 seed this year is from Media, Pennsylvania. From Penn State, Brandywine captured the Penn State University Athletic Conference title, defeating Penn State Fayette. The Lions were 20 wins and just 3 losses this year. They are coached by Melissa Algio. Student Athlete of the Year Award this year goes to from Penn State, Brandywine. Miranda Bianchi. At number seven is Carlo University. The Celtics are from the Steel City. Carlo is from Pittsburgh. They're the seventh seed at a record of 16 and seven this year. They're coached by Julie Gall. At the number six seed from Berea, Kentucky, is the Berea College Mountaineers. Yes. They're coached by Sonia Petrosky. Is that right, Coach? Petrosky, Saminsky Petrosky. Great grandfathers to be related to or something. Berea College had a record of 16 and three this year, five and two against USCAA schools. They're second in block assists. But your athletic director, Mark Cartmill, is from Canton. 
He went to Canton High School. He's a Golden Bear. This is where he actually went to college. There was some question of whether or not that actually happened, but he did. <laughs> he went to college here at St. Lawrence University. His roommate at St. Lawrence University is now the president of St. Lawrence University. The fifth seat, St. Mary of the Woods, Indiana. The St. Mary of the Woods Pomeroys. They're coached by Stephen Beeler. This is the Pomeroy's first year sponsoring varsity volleyball since 1991. So holy smokes, what a, uh, what a first year you're having. Congratulations and welcome. The fourth seat is from Alfred, New York. The Alfred State Pioneers uh, welcome to you and head coach Gene Dorley. Welcome, coach. You got a good nap in today? That's good. We're all concerned about that. I don't want you to fall asleep at the coaches' meeting, so that's good. That's good. Uh, Alfred State had a record of 25 and 5 this year. The third seed is from Rochester Hills, Michigan, the Rochester College Warriors. A 22 and 19 this year against some incredible competition. This year's team is coached by Shannon Billings. Welcome back, Coach Billings. The team finished second in the 2014 USEA Volleyball National Tournament last year. The second team this year is the home team from SUNY Canton. The Roos are led by fifth year head coach Carol LaMarche. Yeah. Yeah. SUNY Can went 26 and 9 this year. They finished third in last year's tournament, entering the tournament, uh, winning the 10 of their last 12 matches, and uh, they have a 10 and 1 home record. <laughs> Senior Morgan Bills is second in the USCAA in hitting percentage at nearly 400. Junior Kelsey Cornish leads the USCAA in total kills with 336. Freshman Peyton Robinson ranks second in the USCAA in total assists with 1,189. Ruser second in the USCAA in kills per set with over 11 per set. Senior Robin Carroll ranks third in the USCAA in total digs with 620. All right, Ruse, here we go. And the number one seed for this year's USCAA Volleyball National Tournament is the defending champs from Florida College the Falcons have won the USCA Volleyball National Championship nine times. Congratulations, Falcons. They're coached by Donna Paramore. They're 5-0 against USCAA opponents this year. First in kills per set in the USCAA. The Coach of the Year Award is given to USCAA Records Show. She is the winningest volleyball coach in USCAA history from Florida College, Donna Paramore. middle hitter from Florida College. Congratulations to Savannah Gorman. Okay. So that's a review of the 10 teams here uh, this weekend for the USCAA National Tournament. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. Enjoy your dinner. Have a great time. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. On behalf of the USCA, I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2015 USCA Volleyball National Championship Banquet. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Sunny Kim, their athletic director Randy Sulinski, tournament director and head of women's volleyball coach Carol Marsh, sports information director Nate Hart. How did you go up to help us the past few years? She's not from Sunny Kim, she's from uh, Johnson and Wales University, but she's been tremendous in um, tournament operations and stats, so thank you so much, Kelly. And the rest of the SUNY Kansas staff, all this time and effort they have put in in order to have a great tournament for the fourth year. Let's give them a round of applause. And I want to show you something that you can take and learn from, not only in this tournament, but in life. Many people have their own ideas of what success is and how to achieve it. I'd like to show you mine. One characteristic emerged as a significant predictor of success. And it wasn't social intelligence, it wasn't good looks, physical health, and it wasn't my cue. It was grit. Grit is passion and perseverance for very long-term goals. Grit is having stamina. Grit is sticking with your future, day in, day out, not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years, and working really hard to make that future a reality. Grit is living life like it's a marathon, not a sprint. Hard work beats talent, and talent doesn't work hard. We truly believe it's not the team, 
with the best players that will win this tournament, it's a team with the greatest players. Competing for a national title is a special experience, one that few student athletes have the opportunity to do. The USCAA and Zuni Canyon work hard to ensure that this will be an event you all remember for the rest of your lives. I wish you all the best of luck and look forward to the excitement that lies ahead. The competition's always great, and it's great to see all the women striving to uh, win and to just do their very best. Uh, this is a national title, so that makes it a lot of fun. We've got ten teams from eight different states that come from all over to compete for this title, and it is phenomenal. It's an incredible competition. The athleticism is outstanding. The games are exciting, so we're really excited about hosting again. I can't wait to crown another champion on Saturday. And we'll be rooting for all the teams, but I have to admit I'm a little partial for our own team from SUNY Camp. That's good to hear.